Okay, so what we're going to do first is so we all have the same composition more or less. I want you to first draw a line just a little below the roof slanting for all the houses slanting towards you so downwards for all the houses wherever it is possible just a small slanting line a little below the roof on the face of the house. Hi Ahan, jump in quickly with a pencil. Draw the slanting lines for each of the houses. Very quick, nothing to think about too much. Slightly slanting, tilting downwards if it is visible otherwise because there might be houses where it's at the back and it may not be visible in which case you can leave those but if it's visible give a small slanting line okay done with that then what we can do is make a little chimney for all the houses a little block rectangular block with a smaller rectangular block for all the houses. Fine, slanting line and chimneys. Let me know if you're all done. Thumbs up. No Should need I to make show my me. houses a little darker? No, no, please don't make anything dark. Okay. No, please don't darken anything. Mine is dark so that all of you can see. Dark please... Okay. All right. Now, what should be done with the colors? First, all of you put a little white in your palette for four slots. A little white, come on. So like one scoop, one brush full of white in four different slots of your palette. Who is that? Myra. Yeah, Myra. You'll just have to jump in. I'm not going to repeat. Okay. You'll have to figure out on your way. Yeah. So once you've taken the four little dollops of white, add the yellow to one. You're going to add green to another, red to another one, and blue. So basically, we're making lighter shades of these four colors that we have pulled out. 
blue, red, yellow, green, we're making lighter shades of these same four colors by mixing it with white. So add just a little bit of the colors, more of white, less of the color. Mix it well, add some water to it, 3-4 drops of water, don't let it be thick, it needs to be watery. So the red becomes a pink, the blue becomes light, green becomes like a minty green. If your water is getting dirty, please change it. Please clean your brush between taking a fresh color. So colors need to be very pastely and light, almost like candy. Mix enough water, break up all the lumps, keep it smooth and all colors should be light. Just these four colors, red, blue, green and yellow. Let me know once all of you are ready with your colors. Give me a thumbs up emoji. So you should get a minty green, a butterscotch yellow, a sky blue and a pink. Yeah, fine Tristan. Just check if your pink is pink enough or it's too dark. Please add some water, make sure it doesn't dry out in the meantime, those of us who are waiting. Please add a few drops of water and keep it moist. Are we ready? Can we get going?
Viraj is done. Mahi is done. Ira is done. Hmm? Okay. Arna, Ahan, Sia. Done? Okay. Then so we're going to get started with the painting. Yeah, give me a minute. So, what we're going to do is take a medium sized brush. Actually, just watch. Do not paint. Take a medium sized brush, dip it in water. So as you can see, <clears throat> each of these towers have got two sides, <clears throat> right? There is a side which is facing us, which is broader. And then there is a side which is slightly at an angle, the face of the house. So the one that is facing us needs to be slightly lighter than the one which is inside, slightly away from us, okay? So how are we going to do that? First, what I'm doing is do not do, just watch, just watch. So what I'm going to do is, now the bottom needs to be left open, so don't do too much over there. Just slightly wet the paper, not too much, just moisten the paper a little. Don't do it, just watch. I'm going to take my first color which is pink and I'm going to add it like that. Now because mine is acrylic, I need to work fast. Otherwise, the colors will dry up and I won't be able to blend very well. Now, you see the bottom, I'm just leaving it loose and open like that because next week there are going to be clouds coming there. Now, I'm going to take the paint about three quarters of the way. Make sure your lines are straight, nothing goes out. Yeah, very simple. I've just wet the paper, added the paint that I've, that I've mixed. Now, cleaning my brush and only with water, I'm blending the rest of it up, making it lighter. Those of you who are going to use acrylic will need to do this bit fast because acrylic dries, as you can see. See, I've already got a little bit of a patch going on. And the more it dries, the bigger the patch it's going to get. But those of you using watercolor, poster color shouldn't have too much of a problem. So acrylic dries, so please work fast. All we need is some water to blend to the top so that you get a dark to light finish. I'm not done yet. Eyes on the screen. Now this side, I said, needs to be still darker. Now that I've already mixed my pink, how do I make it still darker? I'm going to go back to my pot of red. I'm going to take a little bit of red, mix it at the side of the pink, making it into a deeper pink. Not red, but a deeper pink. Get some water into it. And the same process. First, slightly wet the surface. Do not do it, just watch. Lightly wet, don't need too much water. And then I'm going to take this deeper pink. Leaving the bottom open. And because it is acrylic, I need to work fast, taking water and just spreading it to the top so that my top is light. Understood, everyone? So one side is light, the other side is dark, of the same color. So each tower is the same color, but one side is slightly darker than the other. Okay, come, let's start. Ahan, are you clear? Okay. Make sure there's no white space left between the towers. Can we do the colors uh, anywhere we want? Anywhere, any tower? anywhere. Yes, yes. Anywhere, okay. any tower. And uh, maybe a good idea to do just the face of all the towers first and then come to the, the side of the tower because, you know, it can mix and blend. 
Auntie just showed it to you in one go and I was very careful that it doesn't mix. But maybe you can do one pink here, one green, one blue and then come back and do the darker pink, the darker green, the darker blue. So it doesn't mix. Okay. So each tower one color in light and dark and it should have a dark to light flow from bottom to top. Try and please, colors have to be within the lines. There's no point having a lovely drawing and then the colors are splashed all over, right? Have some control. Last week I showed you how to point your brush to make fine lines the same way. Clean your brush well. If your water's gotten dirty, do change it. You can just get up and go do that. No need to ask me. We are not painting roofs right now. We are only painting the part of the house below that line that we drew at the start of the class. So that inside part over here is another color I will explain a little later. We're only doing the walls. No roofs and none of this this bit over here. I'll just change my water and come.
going okay for everyone? Any difficulty? Any questions? Something not clear about? Let me know. Uh, how many coats of water do we put on the building? Just one coat, very lightly. Okay. And then, of course, to spread the paint up, you need a little bit of water. Make sure your colors are all light. Nothing needs to be too dark for the walls. The only dark bit is this inside the face of the house. Jump from one house to another, leaving space in between, just just like our uh, trees that we did, so that the colors doesn't don't blend in one into the other. So do one house, jump two houses down to avoid any bleeding of colors. Now, for this inside bit, this little arch that we had first drawn, everybody, eyes on the screen, this inside arch, this can be any dark color. So if you want, you can put it directly a dark blue. Auntie has mixed a dark blue and green and got this sort of turquoise, but of different shades. So maybe you can add a little bit more green in one, a little bit more blue in another, maybe a bit more water in another. So you get different shades of the same. Or you can, don't, don't do black, that's the only 
color I would avoid but any other dark color you can mix and make and just fill in the arches with that chimneys as well I leave it to you what color you want to do the roofs uh, let's pick colors which we haven't used right so browns oranges reds even keep the chimney color uh, not chimney the roof colors warm But even in that, try to create a tonal variation. Let there be light and dark tones. And how do we do that? Just by adding first water to the paper, just like how we did the trees. Wetting the surface and then dropping your paint in it. Ira, can I see your work, please? Okay, Ira, good colors. Make sure there are no white spaces at the edge. Bring the color right up to the edge of the line. Okay. okay. Yeah. Tristan? Can I see yours? Good, Tristan. Yeah. Uh, the, um, the domes that you're doing, keep it neat. Okay. Keep the lines smooth. Uh, see ya. All right, see ya. That's fine. Mahi? Mahi? 
Okay, all done one one side. Good job. Yeah, looks good. Myra, just in time. Okay, don't leave any white spaces between the between the houses. Okay, so I think it's fine. Viraj. Uh, Viraj, they're quite dark, but that's okay. Don't leave any space between. I can see little, little bits of white. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind is one side needs to be lighter than the other. And that's not very evident yet. So perhaps you might want to do uh, one more coat for the lighter tone. And then you wouldn't have to worry so much about those little white spaces in between the, the, the lines. Yeah? Okay. Um... Ahan, can you turn your video on? Arna, can I come to you? Okay, Ahan. You can have to remove that background, Ahan. Bring it in the center. Ahan, you'll have to remove that background. You have a background, no? Well, so I think it'll drip, but uh, wait, Arna, hold dry, on. Arna, it. Arna, not yet. Wait, yeah. It shouldn't drip. Why should it drip? It's not so much water that we're using. Okay, aha, good. Thank you, Arna. Now, please observe one other detail. So the roof has got another sort of, uh, the roof on the other side, basically. So you get to see a little bit of the roof on the other side. You see this, what I've left white. So I have picked a totally different color from the palette, which is purple, and I've filled it in. So that's what I'm going to do. But you can, you are absolutely free to pick any other color of your choice, which is not in these colors. So it stands out. If you don't have purple, what I did was I mixed red, blue, white, and I got purple. Uh, can I start with the other side of the house? Yes, if you're finished one side, why not?
is it okay if we're using a dark kind of a uh, really dark purple uh, for the roofs part like the no a white purple take some warm colors no no yes, uh, not, not for the roof like the just one just one second like this part the arch the arch yeah yeah, you can use a dark purple. Christian, that looks fine. Uh, just the arches need to be a little smoother. Okay, so just run your brush along the edges of the arches and make it smooth. Otherwise, your colors are looking fine and you can start your uh, roof. Christian, you heard me? Arna, can I see yours now? Arna? Ira, hold your brush a little lower. Hold the brush lower, Ira, on the on the metal. Mahi, can I see yours? Yeah, good. Nice. All right. Thank you.
Viraj, have you managed to lighten one side? Okay. Mira, hold the brush lower. Hold the brush lower. Yeah, uh, I'm mixing the colors, so when I do that, I need to hold it a little bit higher. For the roofs, we just painted any warm color, right? Any warm color, but we're also going to try to keep variation within that color by adding water to the paper. So there should be light and dark tones of whichever color you pick. So next week, what we're going to do is add some clouds at the base and maybe into the houses as well. And then, uh, of course, a, a dark blue sky. And then a little bit of detailing of windows and uh, outlining and so on. Um, can you explain how you did the rope again? Wet the paper, just set space, and then drop whichever color it is that you want to use. If it's a brown, then just add a little brown and then let the color sort of blend in with the rest. Well, let the water blend into the color. So you, just so you get light and dark tones. Okay. But mix the color before, add some water to it, water it down, and then drop it into the paper. Okay. So it's smooth. Ahna, can I see the artwork now? Ahna, can I see your artwork now? Yeah, just a sec. Um, so this is what I've done so far. Okay, okay, I can't make out too much, but yes, I can see all your color strips. Looks good. Um, okay. All right, you can carry on with the domes and the roofs. Yeah.
should we add more than one a uh, uh, stroke like one um, dip of the paint if it's not spreading that far yes yes so just make sure that there are light parts and there are dark parts move your brush gently Sia, can I see your artwork, please? Hold it back. Good. Rajesh, you have to mute yourself, Sia. Okay. Rajesh, you have to mute yourself, Okay. Sia, uh, the roofs can be a bit brighter. Okay. Actually, the orange looks fine. It's maybe the, the reddish pink maybe needs to be a little brighter but otherwise it looks good uh let's have a look tristan can i do yellow for the roof uh like a bright yellow yes because we already have yellow as a wall so maybe like a bright can yellow i show later everything will go uh, okay we'll drip all right that's fine ira Good era. Why is there a white line between the two sides? A uh, where? A white line between between the oh, two like panels. over here. Yes, and also for the pink and also for the blue. Oh, because the uh, the line is there, my uh pencil mark. Yes, but there's no white. There's no white space, right? We've not asked anyone to paint a white space. So fill it up, please. Don't leave that white line. Because next week, we're anyway going to outline it with another color. I will tell you next time. But okay. don't leave it white. If, okay. the colors, if the two colors meet and it looks the same, yeah, well, too bad. But no white lines. Okay. 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 Um, Ahan, can I see yours? Okay, Ahan, just keep in mind that dome shape needs to be dome shape, huh? So point it on the top and then like a rect uh, triangle. 
So try not to change the shape of that. Just check the shape. Um, Mahi, let's see. Okay, yes, yes, looks fine. Yeah, thank you. Tristan. Okay, Tristan, keep the colors within the lines. Try not to smudge. Go back to the roofs and neatly do it, please. Myra, let's see. Um, it's a little wet right now, so wait, I think I can tilt my screen. One second. Can you see it? Hold on, hold on. Uh, yes. Mm, yeah, looks fine. You're working on the roofs. Okay, try and make sure that the roofs and the colors of the walls don't match. That they're of a different family. Okay, shouldn't look the same color. I know why it's coming out as a yellow. I'm using an orange right now. Okay, maybe mix a bit of red. Okay. Who else? Viraj. Let's see. Oh, so much better. Viraj, you too. You've got little tiny slivers of white space. Try to avoid that, but other than that, also your domes make the line smooth. It's a bit jagged, your domes. Okay. okay. Other than that, it looks great. Even the side walls, smoothen it out. No jaggedy edges. Of course, that can be fixed next time when we do the background, but still. Yeah. Mm, who else? Arna? Can I see? Arna, your screen keeps going off. Okay, never mind. So next week is the last session. Um, I need you to bring a piece of cotton wool. So cotton as in something that you use when you, you know, injure yourself and you put some medicine on it. Or if your mummies have got makeup remover, those round cotton pads, those will also do. Okay, so either one of those or just some loose cotton that sh should be in your first aid box. So we need a little bit of that and then of course the same colors and a box of oil pastels. I'll put it on the group. The chimneys, do we put bright colors? You know, you can pick the color of the house wall and put that for the chimney if you like. So if you have a green wall, you could have green chimney, any color, Tristan. Okay, any questions related to today's class? Anything that's not understood, want to ask me any color, 
no we're good don't forget this tiny space next on the other side of the roof huh? keep that color different from the roof color so any color that you've not used otherwise you can use here this space Fine. I'll see you all next week. We're going to our last session. We're going to finish this composition. And once we've finished with this composition, I want you to take pictures of all your last eight weeks' work. I think there must be five works. Uh, put them together in order, starting with this on the top, followed by the forest below, followed by the uh, stone wall, the houses overlapping the stone wall, and then the uh, salt dough. Now I know a lot of you have lost the salt dough, it's broken, even mine broke. But if you have pictures of it, just make a collage of the pictures on your parents' phone and um, complete the composition as one composition so we can all see what it looks like to have eight weeks of work, you know, put together. Fine? Understood? So start taking photos and store it in your parents' phones and then collage it together before, well, after the next week's class. Okay, see you all next time. Don't miss, miss the last class. Okay, bye. Bye.